Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda. Welcome back. We're going to carry on in our, um, our, our Vintage Designs 1871 journal. And where we left off, I had um, needed to remove my, my binding because it was loose. I was able to do that because this is a wax thread. I was able to take my pip tool and I, I was able to get it apart and I tightened it nicely and then I added the lace down the uh, spine. So I think that's all I had done. Uh, let's see. Nope, I think I did one other thing. Oh, I added a pocket to our page hugger. I put a flower here, it's a Tim Holtz flower, and then I I took a, one of the scraps and I made just a, a sweet little tag for it and I popped it in there. And then I put one of these little pins up here to hold it in place so that it's not uh, flopping around or falling out of the journal. So that's where we are. So we're gonna we're gonna do a book board today, and we're gonna use up some of our our pieces here. And so what I did is I printed off a couple pages from my other kits for Liz for the book board. I thought these would be a great addition, and I mean they go together so perfectly. So this is just a piece of, uh, it's not exactly chipboard. I think this one is the back. It's either a back of a paper pad or it's from a box of tiles that um, we had had. And I cut it eight by five. And that's to accommodate uh, the journal. So whatever journal size you have, just just cut it appropriately to your page size. So this, um, it'll go nicely there. So when you're writing or you're stamping or doing anything in your journal, you add it back there and then you have a nice flat surface to work on, which is perfect. All right, let's go. Let's get started. I hope you're all doing good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm as you know, I'm filming ahead of time for this week so that you all have something and to watch. And uh, yeah, so I've been enjoying putting this journal together and thank you so much for all the beautiful feedback and how much you've been enjoying it. So. I just like hanging out with everyone, with all of you. I just, I enjoy it immensely. Oop, that got a little crooked. I'm just going to pop it right on there. I'm not even going to worry about uh, cutting it yet. And you can collage on this. You don't have to do a full piece. You just collage it. Use your ruler, tear around it. You know, you can do anything like that. And of course, these pieces will also get used because that's what we do. <laughs> right? We use the pieces. And I'm just going to use my ruler. Sometimes I find it easier to use my ruler. There we go. These tiny little bits are what I'll cut with my scissors so the ruler doesn't get into there. These old scissors are from a thrift store and they are amazing to use. They're a little heavier than the normal scissors but they feel really light in my hand when I'm trying to cut. So there we go. And then you can because you don't want to add too much bulk to a book board simply because you're going to use it for writing. So just make it pretty. You can put stickers on it, of course, you know, because stickers don't have a bulk to them. 
So if you think that's a little plain, then just add, oops, use the wrong color ink. Oh well, that's okay. And then you can just put whatever on the back. I just have a piece of this coffee dyed paper that I'm gonna use. And then that, hmm. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> do it this way. I'd like to see this edge. And I'm just going to go around it like that. We'll see if I can uh, do this properly or if I make a mess of it. And even if I do, it'll be fine because you can put a patch on it. Just grab another piece of paper and do it again with some different stuff, right? So, yeah, that looks about right. Just do that. is off to see his uh, other grandpa for a week or so so that's fun for him hopefully he'll have a really good time and enjoy himself they live in southern Alberta so that's fun and I'm just gonna do a little trim There's always something there. You could use a sand block to do the edges if, of the paper if you want, or a, uh, a nail file. You can just go along the edges. I'm just gonna do that quick and then we'll ink it up. And I mean, I missed a little bit there, but it's okay. Right, it's all good. All right, so I'll just give it a little ink. There you go. And you can do it as light or as dark as you want. And so there we have a book board. So let's, I'm just going to add another stamp there. It's just a Canada stamp. Just add it onto the corner there. It's just looking a little a little plain right there. So there we go. But how pretty is that? And then when you put it in your journal, right, you can make a little pocket here if you want or just sit it in. You know, you can sit it in anywhere and then it's there to use when you need it. You can do some stamping on the back if you want, but I think the color that's there is uh, lovely. It doesn't need much of anything else, I don't think. Okay, there's no point in sticking that in there. I'm going to move it though, otherwise I'm going to lose it. Alright, so I had this little piece. I inked it up and I thought, what a fun shaped pocket that is like we're using the bits right because that's what I have left I just think it's so fun to be able to use all of the all of the stuff and not leave anything out but just have it on the bottom of a page I love that it says Paris there but I wonder, let me just try this here. And if I put the board there, will it be enough? Let me see. Probably not, but I'm going to try it anyway. No, it wouldn't work. But I'm going to put this here anyway. I just... 
I like it. Let's do it. And I'm going to try and get to the edge as best I can to put the glue so it doesn't take too much space away from the pocket. Tom went out this morning. He's gone to pick up a few things and gas up the vehicle. So we'll be ready to go. There we are. Oop. Take off the little extra bit. I'm not going to put it right to the bottom. I like to see that little bit of uh, paper underneath. So there we go. And then let's see what I've got. I made this huge tag with uh, one of the pages. Like what a fun pocket that is. That is a really, really big tag. And I have some of this uh, fabric. It's just from the Dollarama, buck 25, but it's sure gone a long way. So I don't know if I should, no, let's put it through. Like you can put a few there. It doesn't have to be just one. So we'll see if this has an extra staple in it left. Sometimes they're tricky to staple, especially with these little guys. Uh, come on. Behave, right? There we go. Nope. <laughs> oh boy. That's okay. I'm going to put another staple in then. Sorry. If I was off camera, you know what? We're going to leave it. I'm not going to struggle with it. Just add some glue to the back and that'll... That'll help solidify the uh, staple as well with the glue there. So there we go. We'll just do that. It works. If one thing doesn't work, try it with something else. And then we have that sticking out the top. So that's cute. I like that. All right. And then we have this too. I didn't want, I don't want to make this a pocket or a, side tuck or anything I quite like it the way it is and that's going to go in there with it and then I have a couple little bits of the Kleenex box so I'm going to grab some of this paper this is one of the other sheets and we'll make a belly band or something with it and I'm not going to worry about putting anything on the other side because you're not going to see it. All right, so. There we are. Yeah, and then just grab a little, uh, I just have this little end here. Just grab a little something to add to the bottom. Oh. There we go. And then I'll cut it out. If my hands don't shake. So just some quick little projects today just to uh, finish it up and add all the rest of the pieces in. So yeah, it's all good. And I know uh, Liz doesn't have her uh, normal shop anymore. She has all of her digitals on the coffee site. So I've been trying to make sure to link link her shop and so there's our 
belly band. And I just added glue to the two sides because this could be a little tuck. I mean, why not? Well, that's a little too skinny. Uh, let's see what we have left here. Oh, well, that's the same. <laughs> Try something different. And this is just back on the coffee paper. Coffee dyed paper. I backed a few things with it, so. And then that could just go. It's just a shallow pocket, but it's a pocket, right? You can put a cluster on here. Let's grab our journal. And we'll put it in. I want to make sure there's writing space as well. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to add things to every single page. So, oh, that's really long. I might have to, I might have to shorten her up. Let's see. Yep, I'll have to shorten it up a bit, but that's okay. I'll do that right now. Just make it a little, about right there. And the Kleenex box makes it quite sturdy, which is perfect. So I hope I haven't been off, uh, off screen for you. Sometimes when I'm gluing or I bring things a little close to me. So I wanna make sure uh, I'm just going to add it like that or you can add it to the side or to this side just make it a tuck spot but um, yeah I think I'll just bring it over a little bit and we'll make it a belly band just like that and that's the right way don't want to do it upside down it's been known to happen, as you know. There we go. Well, that's so cute. And then you have this huge spot right here. So I'm going to just clip off these corners. Um, Sometimes it's nice to have the little rounded corners. It just gives it more of a finished look, I guess. Quick ink. You don't have to ink. It's all, you know, it's creator's choice. If you want to ink, you just do it. Right? But you don't have to. I like the look for, uh, for everything to be inked. Sometimes I don't even bother. All right, that's our book board. So we have the belly band. And then we have these little pieces. So I brought over my, my bulb pins. I'm gonna just do, I'm just gonna take these little bits, just like this. We'll see how it looks. A little bit like that. Maybe this piece is a bit bigger. I'm just gonna stagger them and we're just gonna make a little scrappy cluster and put it, you can either staple them together, you can use bulb pins and hang them and add them to a page or add them to uh, a place on your cover. You can glue them together, stack them to make a, a side pocket or just have a pretty embellishment on your page, right? It's whatever you would like to do. But I think I'm gonna add a bulb pin to this 
and I did not take out my my little tiny um, thing there so I'm going to use my pokey tool and just poke it through just enough to get the bulb pin through hopefully there we go and then just pick a color try not to let them go and line up all the holes and there we go just like that and you can add a little dangle to it if you want to give it an extra little bit of goodness but I think I'm going to whoop. well they're falling out they didn't even get a hole what in the world <laughs> okay let me fix these i just need to hmm. well sorry about that but i know i'm putting them on a different way now to make the holes how bizarre that uh, it didn't even go through them all how does that work? There we go. At least it didn't tear them. Sometimes I wonder if it just tears the paper. But there we go. So now it looks a little different because I have them in a different order. So I'm just going to... I hope you're seeing this. I think you are. Just close it up. Hmm. I might have to play around with that, but I do like it hanging on there. But I might have to. Hmm. I might have to move it, but for now, that's my. That was my thought of uh, doing that. It's very cute. If I figure out how to straighten it out, then I'm going to do that. Such a pretty page. Well, we're almost, the bits are just about done. I have this piece. I wonder, can use the rest of this. I can cut the board down. Let's, let's do it. We can use it as a side tuck or something. My glue. And we'll just glue it up. And you can further embellish, of course, right? You can embellish this one. Lace and bling and just completely fill it. But I like to leave enough so that whoever has the journal has places to create themselves and add add something that they want, right? I don't wanna I don't wanna fill it all on them on you, whoever you will own this uh, journal. I'm just gonna cut it above where the glue is because it's pretty raggedy there. There we are. Just like that, and then I'm just gonna cut it all off. My hand shakes so bad sometimes I can't get that first cut. So I have to just relax and wait for the shakes to stop. <laughs> Throw that out. And there we go. How cute is that? I'm just going to round. Uh, let's see where am I going to put it first. Pop it on the other side. Mm. 
maybe right there. So I'm going to round these two corners that are going to be on the opposite side. It's still wet, of course, so it'll take a few minutes to dry. And I use the tacky glue, as you know. I find it's a, such a great glue to use. And it holds fabric. It holds my laces, paper. I have used it on metals, and it's actually held, which I was pleasantly surprised. Whoops. So there we are. And the glue shouldn't seep through the holes because I'm putting it just below where those holes are. But I guess it depends on oops, how much I squish it down. So no glue there. And then, you know, if you find this is flimsy, which it is, it's a flimsy piece of paper, then um, something else can be added uh, to this side which maybe I should do. I have this last piece of scrapbook paper. I'm going to, where's my fancy scissors? Uh, pinking my decal. I just have these uh, decal scissors. I'm just gonna use those and cut off the top. It just gives it a, Gives it a fancy edge. Why not? There we go. So it's just like that. It's on the desk. I'm going to use it. We used this other piece yesterday, I think, or the other day, sorry, with the top tuck. And then this is another sweet pocket to put something in. And then again, you can stencil on your paper. You can spatter it, you can paint it. You can just add uh, ink all over it. You know, like sometimes I'll just take my ink pad and then I will just do that and you can do it all around the paper. Well, I've already started it, so I'm going to finish it. <laughs> and it just adds uh, color to it wherever, right? Just like that. I mean, there's so many ideas. You just, if you think of something, just do it. It's all going to be beautiful. Everything you create is going to be beautiful. So I have these two little bits here. They're just from a gas station. They should fit in here. Yep, just like that. I'll bring the back one out and they can just sit like that. But how cute! Right? And then you can put this, put this across it. It could be a little belly band or it could just be a decoration. We're using the bits. And then once we're once we've done this, we'll go through the journal and we'll take a look at it all. So let's just make it a belly band. Why not? We can do that. You know, you are the creator, so you can make any decisions that you want in how you want to uh, make your pockets or your tuck spots. You can decide on the ephemera you're making. Right, I'm just going to pop that right in there. And it's just going to sit there. And if you do something like this, but you feel that this isn't going to be tight enough, and add a little piece to the bottom and leave it open and then just have that sit inside it 
and then it's not going to fall through on you like that, right? And then just stamp on it. Let's just do that. Talking about it, let's do it, right? We will do it. It's just a an added uh, piece. And then you'll know for sure that your whatever you tuck inside that belly band is not going to fall out. So there we go, just like that. Now it doesn't want to go in. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then you can just, let's just do a little stamp. I received these two little beauties from Barbara, my friend Barbara. And uh, I don't use them very often, but boy, they are the sweetest little um, stamps. And I do have a black here. So let's just check it out. Okay, and I'm just going to... See, I didn't use the book board underneath. This is a great opportunity to use it, but whew, that turned out beautiful. There, and it just adds another, another element uh, to the page. All right, and there's our book board. I'm just gonna pop it at the back. You can make a pocket for it if you want, a tuck spot, whichever. But I think just having it sitting in there is gonna be beautiful. And then for the last thing, I have some lace. And I thought it would be so great to have some lace down some of the pages. I just I just cut three pieces of the lace, which I think is enough. I mean, I don't want to have it a mass amount of lace coming out. But I mean, that is awesome too. I, I love lace. But uh, for this journal, I think I would like to have just hints of um, of it on three pages. And when you open it up, I didn't put glue, if you noticed, all the way, so that something could be tucked inside if you wanted it to. So there's near the front. And then, oh, I did kind of lay them out, but then, you know, things get moved and taken away and stuff. So let's just add this one here. Oh, excuse the cat if you can hear him. He wakes up from a deep sleep and then he thinks it's, uh, oh, he has to go outside, like right now. <laughs> so there's two. Oh yes, I love it, so pretty. And then we'll grab a piece of page next to the, um, yeah, this one will be good. And then we'll pop this one on. But lace just adds something to a journal and you can use any color lace it doesn't I just happen to have this one and it was on my desk so that's what I'm using and let's see what that looks like and so there we have our lace how pretty I just love it and I know it's white you don't have to keep it white. You can make it's the beauty of white lace and fabric and stuff. You can make them any color you want, right? You can dye them whatever color you like. Use your inks, your paint, uh, you know, anything can be used to uh, color your lace. All right, so I think she's done. I mean, I know I have... Oh, I do have two pieces left. Two pieces. That I'll, I'm going to think about that one. But this is backed onto cardstock 
or a file folder. Yep, file folder. I'm just going to nip the edges there, add a little bit of ink, and it can go in the pocket. Why not? And then this little strip, well, what do I do with it? It's going to be a tuck spot, you know that, right? <laughs> There's no getting around it. It's going to be a tuck spot. So here we go. All my little hills. There's no straight lines. And then I'll just do this. Add it to this page. And there's still lots of writing space. You know, there's room for photos. There's room for anything. You can doodle, you can color, draw, whatever you're going to do. So let's take a look. So here's our cover and the beautiful spine. And then we have a gorgeous, huge tag. And we've done this all together. I mean, the only thing I didn't do without you was sew in the signature. So we have our tag and our pocket. Oh, and I did this, of course, but okay. For the most part, everything we did together which is so fun. That's the tuck spot we just made. Let's just, yeah. So we've used everything. I have this little piece here. And so we have this with our belly band and the little tuck spot. I just think that's so cute. And then we have our tuck spot here. Let's see if I have a, any more of those well, I just have this. It's a vellum something or other. We'll pop that in there. And we have our over the page hanger and we did the lines inside. And I added a pocket, a little tuck spot at the back. This is nice and tight now. And we have our frames in here. We have our laces down the sides of three of our pages. We have our pocket here with some goodness. Our belly band, we put a little tuck spot there. We have this wee tuck spot with some ephemera journaling cards and we have our little flip out here. And then we have this little flip. So pretty. And then we have our, our side tuck. We have our up tuck. <laughs> and our tuxedo pocket with all the lovely bits inside. We have our book board. And on the back page, we have our long tuck spot with some ephemera in there. And the book board is gonna sit just right there. There we are. She's done. And I mean, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna add anything to the back. I just love the image. It's just gorgeous and I'd like to leave it that way. So this is left. Are we going to worry about it? No, it'll be fine. All right. Okay, she's done. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, you know how much I appreciate you. I tell you all the time because it's so true. I just love hanging out with you all. And I, I love your comments. Thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing my videos. That has been such a blessing. Welcome to everyone who's new. And uh, yeah, so have a very, very blessed weekend. And we'll see you next time. I'm going to try and do at least one video while I'm gone. And I've asked Tracy, I asked her before, quite some time ago if she'd like to do a video with me so hopefully that'll happen when uh when I'm there how fun will that be okay take care god bless bye for now <laughs>